So, Carlin, since we last spoke, there's been two primaries, Illinois, Romney one big, Louisiana, Santorum one big. Are they of equal value? They're of equal value in one respect. They've kept the contest going, and of course that's what Rick Santorum wants. But in other ways, they've shown the candidates in particular grooves that they've been in for a very long time. Romney's doing better with upper educated voters, suburban voters, uh, voters with a college education, and Santorum's doing uh, much better with the reverse of those groups. He's doing well with evangelicals, he's doing well with people who have less than a college education, and so the candidates are in their grooves and the contest continues. Mm -hmm. So where do the grooves play out if you're projecting out over the rest of the races? Is uh, Romney's groove a larger groove than Santorum's groove? Romney's groove is the groove that will probably be most important in a general election campaign. Santorum's groove is the very conservative voters, um, an important part of the Republican primary electorate overall, an important part of the general electorate too. But Romney is on a path, uh, I think, to victory in the fall um, with the kinds of groups that he's drawing to them. Do you agree? Yeah, it, I think uh, we see two things. One is that Romney has difficulty in uniting the base and he needs a united party. Uh, but he's so far as winning in the areas that Republicans have lost over the last 20 years that they need to win over if they're going to be a majority party again. Yeah. So Romney's challenge is how to maintain his own appeal while making himself not only acceptable but perhaps desired by the party base whose enthusiasm and high turnout he's going to need. We're in a quiet phase now. What do you see Romney doing next? He's clearly spending a lot of money. Yeah. Well, I think Romney is uh, now going to be a little bit more patient. He said the other day that he's not going to be paying too much attention to what his uh, Republican opponents are saying now. I think he's going to be playing uh, the political version of prevent defense, avoiding mistakes, and making sure that his Republican opponents don't break through, spending enough to make sure that he wins the states he's supposed to win, and keeping enough in the bank that if Obama starts to train his fire on him, then he can respond equally and in kind. It's clear that he's pivoted to the general election already. Um, Newt Gingrich the other day said that he could win Delaware with all of its 14 delegates. Do you expect Newt to drop out anytime soon? The, I noticed this morning that uh, the reporters who've been covering Newt have all dropped off now and he doesn't have any of the embeds anymore. I mean, Newt seems not to be interested in dropping out, but neither do voters seem to be interested in electing him. So he can stay on uh, for a long, long time as long as uh, he's able to raise enough money to fund his travel, but he's no longer a factor in this race.